Hello, welcome to Show Studio Post. We've just discussed with a lovely panel of students, uh, Noir Kane Inomiya third fashion show in Paris, uh, Autumn Winter 19. Uh, an incredible collection, very interesting discussion, and I would like to keep the panel and ask them again, what did you think about this collection? Was there a movement towards something new compared to the previous two ones that you've seen before, and how important is Noir and Kane Inomiya in the fashion world today? So I really love the, the silhouettes and the textures that were coming through. Um, I'd love to see maybe let some less styling so I could really focus on um, the, the textiles of the collection. Um, and um, in general, uh, it, it, you could really feel the atmosphere coming through uh, the catwalk show. I thought it was really interesting to see a collection that was essentially Naomi's interpretation of romance. I guess the ro word roses on the press release said it all, um, and the roses in the hair, but also what was reflected through the materials. They all seemed, all of the softer materials seemed to be ones that would classically be used in wedding dresses, you know, like tulle or ganza. Um, that was really interesting. I think Naomi as a brand, um, it will be. Um, an interesting progression. I think some of his more wearable pieces don't Im imbue that same um, craftsmanship as the more structural ones, so it would be nice to see the two merge together a bit more. Um, I thought that the collection was fantastic, and just the, mere, the sheer fact that Nino Mia, as the designer, set these foundational, really, really um, incredible brand codes that he sticks with throughout every single season, whether it be the grid patterns, the origami folding, ruffling, um, the leather biker jackets, um, but somehow makes an amazing way of taking those fundamental codes and deconstructing them and reconstructing and reconstructing them and rebirthing them every single season to give us something new and um, never before seen that will then translate into his next collection and next collection. So I'm excited to see where he takes it from here because it was completely different from anything that he's ever done. Uh, yeah, I think the shows and brands and designers like this are incredibly important um, because it is very refreshing to, as we discussed before, to see the difference in this towards the sort of ready-to-wear and the brands that just churn out these pretty dresses and like small shirts and everything. It's very, very nice to see someone that actually takes that sort of punk essence and experiments and this, this just crazy stuff and it's it's more so about the art piece in it than the wearability. That is amazing and it's going to be interesting to follow what it does in the future. Great, thank you. I think that it's a good day for fashion when, when someone like Nino Mia shows uh, a noir collection because we can see how you can create newness with some pushing the boundaries of what you can do with materials and textures and volumes and everything that makes fashion interesting. Uh, we've seen some, some changes with some color that mm -hmm. uh, were at the end of this collection, this purple that was also underneath the black but quite visible and these of white beige, whatever we want to call them. At the end, um, for me, it was a bit frustrating not to see it in movement or not to be there and feeling the whole atmosphere or not to be able to touch all of these things that felt so yummy and, and, and inviting and, as Holly said, you know, fluffy and, and soft, softer than usual, and the leather with the organza, whatever. I mean, it was absolutely amazing. So looking forward to see some of this in store and, as some of you said, hoping that there would be you know, still some wearable pieces, but more of these incredible pieces that we see mm -hmm. on the catwalk. So this is it for Noir. Um, thank you for following. Please, please, please subscribe to uh, Show Studio channel on YouTube and please leave your comments. Uh, another two panels will follow this one. Please do not forget to go and watch this very interesting student panel that we've just done on Noir. Uh, thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.